Right, in this video we will be looking at creating the motor mounts here. So basically what these here do is they hold the motors up in the middle of the robot uh, so that the wheels are equally different from the top and the bottom so that we don't have heaps of wheels on the bottom and heaps of wheels protruding from the top. So what we need to do is recess the motor mounts up here. So the way we're going to do that is we're basically just going to build this little step here. All right. So we've got our bot that we've so far created. So what we want to do is we want to, first thing we want to do is we want to create these holes on the side here. That's where our motors are going to poke out so that our wheels can connect to them. Right, so we're just going to right click that, go create sketch. All right. Now we're just going to measure from using a line tool here. It's going to measure from here is that we know we want to come in um, to fit our motor mounts which are 30 4 millimeters long so we know the halfway point is going to be 17 millimeters long so while we're sketching here is let's sketch here and go 17 mil so if we're up if we just type in 17 push enter that's going to be our middle face so now what we need to do, we need to create a line that we can use as a guide for to find the center So we need to create a line along here that's 17 millimeters long. From that line here, we'll go up from here to the top. We need to go from the bottom. So we create a line along here that's 17 millimeters long. That's going to take us to the middle of our motor where we want our motors to sit. And we're going to go from the bottom straight to the top. All right. Now this line here is going to give us our center point. See how it creates that triangle there. So now we know that's our center point. So what we can do is we can go rectangle, center rectangle. We'll go find that center point again there. All right, and create our hole. So we know that our height is 10 millimeters. If we push tab and 12 millimeters wide, we push enter. All right, then we're going to extrude that. So we'll just click on just those parts that we need. All right, hold shift down using the mouse key. What you can just do very simply is grab that arrow and just drag it backwards, and you'll see that that's extrude. And it's also changed it here to extrude cut. And it will cut through. So if we push OK, it will cut those two holes out for us. Right. So now the next thing we need to do is to create that step here. Right. So we can right click, create sketch on the bottom, bring it into 2D mode. Now that we know that the distance between here, we can check it by clicking on that point to that point. Us is 11 mil, which is what we want. Yep. So then, what we can do is we can create a step 
this way. So we know that our we want our step to be 10 millimeters wide, and we want it to be 34 mil in depth. So then we push enter. And we've got that one there. We'll do the same on this side here. So we want 10 millimeter 34 tab 10. We get into there. Alrighty. Now we can also, because we want to have part two hold the motors in the middle here. Alright, we can just draw between those two points there. Alright, now using our trim tool, get rid of these lines. push extrude, click here, we can drag this up, up and down, and you'll see that you come to a point where it meets here, and, you, and you'll see there won't be any line between here. So once you've got that, push OK, and then you would have made that little step. Alrighty, so if we go have a look that one here, so there's a little step there. Alright. Now, the the next part is quite tricky, is we need to put these holes here which are our holes for our bolts to go through to hold the motor mounts down to hold the motors in place. So very simply, uh, it's not a very simple task, it is quite complex, but you need to create sketch on here. What we need to do is we have to draw a whole bunch of lines so that we know where to put those holes exactly. So we go off this line here, which is our line for the side of the motor. We'll create that two mil wide. Uh, do that on both sides. Okay, so we've got that two mil wide. All right, from here, we go to sketch line. And then we want to create a box, an X. And then we go sketch circle, center diameter circle, right here. And we want that to be three millimeters wide. So you just push three and then enter. And that'll be locked in. All right, so you continue doing that for all four sides. So plot your X circle. There could possibly be an easier way to do this. You could also do this by mirror using the mirror tool which is Sketch um, that you'd have to have a separate plane here. I find it's just just as easy to just draw it out quickly. And that one didn't give me the diameter that I needed because I clicked it too early. Now once you have those four holes, well, what you can do, click extrude, and then you can just go pick the parts that we need. So we don't have to trim those 
Um, you can if you want to, but you can just click the parts that you need. Alright, now once we have chosen all of them, let's drag it down and make sure it goes past these here. And you'll see that all four have gone. Click OK. And there we have it. So we've got our holes um, to mount our motors. All right. Now, next thing is don't forget to save your work as you're going along. So you might want to go File, Save As, and change the name, put your name there, and hit Save. All right. So that way, you're always saving along so you don't lose any work. Alrighty.